In this short video, we'll see how to add a blog to a course in which you, as the instructor or lecturer, can post and students can only make comments to. It's slightly awkward. The first thing you have to do is set up a group in which you are the only member. So if you go down to Users and Groups, and scrolling down here, we're first of all going to set up a group. So we're going to create a manual enrolled group where we are going to control the group. We're going to call it um, blog. And I'm just going to leave the description blank for the moment. The group will be visible to students and we're going to just have a blog as the only element of that group. So I'm going to turn off everything else other than the blog. And we can just leave the rest as per the default and hit submit. The reason we can do this is that the feature of blogs within groups allow members of the group to post to the blog, but no students who are not members of the group can post. They can only post comments. So by setting it up this way, we can, as a lecturer, post to our blog, and students can view the blog and uh, comment on the individual blog posts. So here we have the blog group. Click on it. And you can see we have the different features. And we can go into the group blog and create a blog entry. So we would do this as per any other blog entry. So we'll go welcome to the blog. And we can add multimedia, video, uh, text, uh, comments. So I'm just going to write the word welcome. Scrolling down, we can attach a file if we want to the blog post. And then post the entry. So we have our blog set up and in the next video we'll see how students would access it. One extra thing that you might want to do is to remove the not a group member after your name as the instructor. An instructor can post to any blog from any group. However, as we didn't add myself as the instructor to the group, this appears. And over the course of a year, if this is the blog for you as a lecturer, you may wish to have that removed. So we just need to add ourselves to the group. To do that, go to Groups. And from the drop down here, choose to open the group. In fact, what we should have chosen was to edit the group. So if we go back and from the drop down, we'll choose to edit the group here. Scrolling down. We can modify any of the settings that we had before, but what I'm interested in here is to add users. So adding the users here, we have a list which includes just the students at the moment. So I'm going to show all course roles and do a search. Here, this is me, and I'm going to select, and I'll just push this over here, and move this up, and I'm going to hit submit at the bottom. So that is now added me to this group. Clicking Submit, and if we go into the blog set, we can see we have one tool available, and Damien is a member of the group, and now it's the post is by Damien Raftery, and that not a member of this group is added.